everybody, it's Emma from Bookmarks and Brush Pens and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you today from the library of the writer's retreat that I am currently at. So I recently got asked on Tumblr what my daily journaling supplies were and what I carried around with me in my pencil case and I thought instead of typing out a list of things I would do a quick video of me going through my pen case and my art and journaling supply case. So here we go! So you have caught me at an interesting time. I am actually on spring break at a writer's retreat. So I have uh, more journaling supplies with me than I would usually carry around. Um, this big bin is a is a bin that I load up when I'm, I'm going on a longer vacation and I can just put this in my suitcase or my backpack. Um, normally I have about maybe three fourths of the things that are in here, uh, minus the ink bottles in a little uh, canvas pouch that I put in my backpack, um, but since I am on spring break and I've got all these, I figured I would show you everything. Um, and I do use a lot of these things in my daily journaling, um, in my journal and in my bullet journal. Uh, but this pen case is the pen case that I do carry with me everywhere, whether I'm at home or on vacation. This is my Lilith Lab uh, pen case. I believe it's called a zippered case, although there might be something else um, that it's called. <laughs> it is in yellow green. It has these two outside pockets um, and I've just stuck an eraser in one of them. So let's open it on up. All right, so one thing I always keep in my pen case is a microfiber cloth uh, for cleaning pens when I've inked them or if something happens to them or if I um, spill ink everywhere. So I've got this to, to do some quick cleaning. So I always leave that in there. Um, so let's see, so one side is for regular pens and one side is for fountain pens. So I guess we will start over here and work our way over. Let's see, I have got um, a Tombow small brush pen. This is a small brush pen in black. A uh, Pigma Micron uh, in 0.8, so this is a nice bold line. I'll use this um, for outlining watercolors or outlining lettering, that sort of thing. Then I have three um, five compartment um, high tech C Coletto pens. These pens have uh, refills that you can put in them in different colors so you can use multiple colors at the same time. They come in a variety of sizes and colors um, and I have three of them just because I like a lot of different colors and sizes when I'm working. Um, these I don't really use to journal so much as I will use them sometime in planning or in brainstorming when I want to do some color coding. This is a um, Pentel Sign Touch brush pen in gray. This is a Pilot Mechanical Pencil, I believe in 0.4. And then I also have a Zebra Mild Liner Highlighter in here. I have more of them in my big bin, but um, since I'm most likely to use gray if I'm just doing everyday highlighting, this is the one that stays in my pen case. So moving on to fountain pens. I have got a Platinum Balance, a Twisby Eco, Pilot Cavalier, um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim, Kara's Custom Fountain K, Lamy All Star, and an Eversharp Doric. Um, these are some of the some of my steel nibbed pens. Some of the ones that are a little less expensive, except for the the Pro Gear, which is in the middle to hopefully protect it a little bit more. Um, some of the more expensive pens that I carry around with me, I have in this back pocket in another case for some extra protection. This is a Knock Lookout, and this holds three of my um, sort of everyday gold nib pens. Uh, a Pilot Vanishing Point, a Pilot Falcon, and a Pilot E95S. Um, I just like to give these a little extra protection, so that's why they're in another case in the back of my pen case. I have a case within a case. Um, and normally the, the Pro Gear Slim would actually be in the back, um, but I just recently put my Pilot E95S in there, so I switched the, the Pro Gear to out here. All right, so that is everything that I, oh, and I do have some extra um, mechanical pencil lead in one of these little pockets, but I can't fit, fit much else in there uh, because I've kind of packed it full of pens. All right, so that is the pen case that I carry around with me um, almost every day. The only reason I wouldn't have this with me is if I could only carry a very small purse that wouldn't fit it. Um, but normally I have all of these pens with me at all times. All right, so moving on to 
my sort of journaling and art supplies. So like I said, normally I don't carry this huge bin around with me everywhere, um, but I am on vacation, so I just sort of threw everything in here. Um, so let's go through it. All right, just unplug, unplug. <laughs> unlock that real quick. All right, so the first thing I have is this little bin full of brush pens. I have a variety of different brush pens here. Uh, the Tombos, I think, are at the bottom. Um, let's see, yeah, so I've got a couple Tombos. I've got um, Stedler brush pens, uh, Kuretake Zig clean color, Kuretake uh, metallic colors, and let's see if I have anything else in here. And I think I have a couple of Pilot ones as well. Um, yep, there it is. And I have a couple of pilot pens as well. All right, so these are all brush pens that I use for lettering um, and sometimes for coloring and illustrations and that sort of thing. I really like brush pens. I have a lot of them, obviously. Um, this bin is for more regular pens. Um, it's sort of just a, a variety collection. Normally I wouldn't have ink in here, but I wanted to keep all of my ink in the same place as my pens uh, for this vacation, so that's why a couple of these are taken up with ink bottles. These are the five inks that I'm currently using um, so I can refill any of my pens that I have with me on this vacation. Um, so let's take this out so I can look in here a little better. All right, so this has just a variety of pens. Um, this is a Studler Fine Liner. These are, um, I believe, Sakura Micron, uh, yes, yeah, Sakura um, metallic pens. I've got one in gold and um, I know green, and there's one in silver in here somewhere. Um, I have some Crayola Super Tip markers. I use these for lettering and also for coloring. Um, the couple things in here that are non-pens are just things that wouldn't fit in, in other areas. I've got this uh, ruler that I got from Muji that just clicks out so you can have a, a full, um, well this is actually 30 centimeters um, because uh, they don't do inches, but 30 centimeters ruler. You can also find angles with it. And then this um, I also got from Muji. This is a little pair of travel scissors that just pops out like that and then I can use them on the go. All right, so I also have in here um, more of my um, Zebra Mild Liner highlighters. I use these for color coding and daily planning, so I have these all in here. They're also good for coloring sometimes if you, if you wanna use them for that as well. Um, let's see, I do have um, a pencil in here, my Palomino Blackwing. Um, I usually keep one of those with me if I wanna do any sketching or anything like that. Um, a Stabilo fine liner. I usually have several fine liners in shades of green because um, green is my favorite color. This is a uh, friction, a Pilot Friction Erasable pen, also in green. Um, Pilot Friction Erasable marker in green. Um, let's see, I have my two um, watercolor uh, or I guess water brushes. Um, the water stays in the body so I can do portable watercolors. Um, the only thing I don't have in this bin that I, I will use in daily journaling is my watercolor set. I have a Winsor & Newton travel watercolor set but it doesn't fit in here so I slipped it into a pocket in my backpack. Um, so there's my silver metallic pen and then uh, another Micron. I believe this is actually, uh, this is a graphic so that's very thick. Um, so I use that for outlining and that sort of thing. And then last but not least, uh, some Pentel Sign, uh, Pentel Sign Touch brush pens in green and gold. You see a lot of green and, and green and gold in my, in my color choices and my bullet journal is actually um, themed in, in green and gold. So that's why I have quite so many shades of, of green and then a couple golds. All right, so also with me, I have this little sponge. I use this when I'm doing on-the-go watercoloring to uh, clean my water brushes. Um, these are all forms of adhesives. This is uh, probably my favorite form of adhesive and what I use the most. This is uh, the Tombow Removable Adhesive Tape Runner. So you just clip that back and then run it along whatever you are trying to stick into your journal or bullet journal, and it leaves a little line of tape, and then you can press it into your book. I really like these. Um, I also have a glue stick for things that maybe aren't shaped correctly to use this. And then I also have some scotch tape. My sister uses this more than I do, but I had the room for it, so I threw it in here. 
So in here I have a couple of different things because I just kind of put things where they would fit. Um, pencil sharpener for my, my Palomino black wing. Um, this is a jeweler's loop and I use this to examine the nibs of my fountain pens. Um, it's just a, a nice little magnifying glass. And then let's see, I have washi tape. Um, these are my sloth washi tapes that I got at Michael's. And then these are just my, my favorite plain colored washi tapes that I think I got at AC Moore. And then the last things I have in here are these inks. So like I said, for this trip, I have the five inks I'm using. The Platinum Classic Citrus Black. Let's see if I can throw this back in here. Uh-oh. All right, there we go. Um, then I also have Franklin Kristoff Honeycomb, um, Noodler's Army Green, uh, Sailor Shikiori, Shikiori, um, this is Waka Yugisu, I think it's pronounced. I probably butchered that, I do apologize. And then uh, Diamine Ancient Copper. And like I said, those are the five inks that, that I currently have all my pens inked up with. Um, so those are the ones that I brought along. Uh, so that is pretty much everything. Let's see if I got everything back in here enough to actually close it. Mm, yeah, all right. So this is what I brought from my daily journaling on my trip. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful or informative or at the very least entertaining. Um, I'm hoping to film another video this week, uh, my flip through of my current journal. So hopefully I will see you guys again soon. Bye.